In this video, you will learn how to work with photos or images with the new version of Artboard Studio. There are several ways to import an image or photo to your canvas. First option is simply dragging and dropping from your computer to canvas. Another option is pressing Command, Shift and I and selecting the image from your computer. Another option is using our built-in Add Items menu. Simply go to Add Item menu from the plus icon from the left toolbar and select Stock Photos section. Here you have Unsplash and Shutterstock options. You can browse these menus and click on the thumbnail and import any photo to your canvas. When you have a photo or image layer inside your canvas, you can resize it from the bounding boxes around, or enter a specific value from the width and height inputs from the right contextual menu. You can double click on the image and enable the cropping mode. When you enable the cropping mode, you can change the visible area of this photo by dragging the indicators on edges. You can also move the image inside to define the visible part of it. Then you can press enter and accept the crop area. Also you can choose fill option to cover entire rectangle of the photo. This way even if you change ratio, the image will be centered based on your new size of the rectangle. If you go with the fit option, the image will fit inside to your rectangle and will show all parts of your photo without cropping any parts of your image. If you start resizing the image directly without pressing shift key, you will distort the image. In order to keep the ratio, you need to press and hold shift key, then use the bounding boxes around to resize. If you make a mistake or not happy with your cropping or resizing, you can always reset the image to original version from this refresh icon. By default, images or photos comes inside a rectangle. You can change the border radius of this rectangle by dragging these small circle indicators on the edge. Or, change the value on the radius input in the right sidebar contextual menu. You can also apply different values for border radius for different edges by clicking on this icon. If your image layer inside an artboard, you can align to artboard from this section. You can change the blending mode of your image from this drop down menu here. If you have a different object or color below the image, you can see each option's results by changing the blending modes here. You can change the opacity value from this input. But also if you select the image and hit any number on your keyboard, you can also apply opacity values this way. For example, I just hit the 5 key on the keyboard, and the opacity became 50% now. If you hit 0 key, it will be 100% opacity again. Now, let's talk about the pin to edge function a little bit. If you have an image inside your artboard, you can enable this function and pin the image on any edges when you change the artboard size. Let's pin this image to right bottom edge. Now even if I change the canvas size, it will always follow the right bottom of the canvas. But if you choose scale option for this image, it will resize the image based on your canvas size. For that if you choose fill option for the image, it will automatically resize and crop the image for you. Below the pin to edge, you will see the foreground section. This basically adds any color on top of your image. You can change the blending mode, color or opacity here. You can add any size or color stroke from this stroke section. For photos or images, we have some cool effects. You can add effects to your image from this FX section. Just hit plus icon and add any effects or adjustment to your image. You can add several effects, or change order of effects to get better results. For brightness, contrast and saturation functions, you can open the small pop-ups by click on them and change values as you want. Now, let's talk about masking options for images. With the new version of Artboard Studio, 
you can mask and group images with shape or text layers. Create the shape on top of the image layer and select both shape and the image. When you select two layers, you will see masking icon on the top bar. You have mask in, mask over and mask out options here. The mask in function will cut the visib image areas with the shape. The mask over function will mask the image inside the shape. The mask out function will cover the shape and hide layer below. You need to experience this masking options yourself because order of the layer will give different results. When you mask two objects, actually you are also creating a group of them. In order to select the layer inside the group, just press command and hold. This way you can move the image inside the shape layer. Or you can select the shape layer and move mask area. When you select the shape layer, you can still modify the shape. Now, let's try to mask this image inside the text layer. Again, by holding command key, you can move the image inside the text. Now, let's talk about the warping options for photos or images. When you select an image layer, you will see perspective or mesh warping icons on the top bar. Warp transform gives you 16 mesh points which you can modify and warp the image as you want. This is a great feature especially if you are making your own mockups. We will create more detailed video about making your own mockups with Artboard Studio in future. Perspective Transform basically gives you 4 points, so you can modify the perspective of the image. You can apply these transform effects to Artboards too, but we will cover it in other videos. Now have a look at the remove background. When you select an image layer, you will see remove background feature icon on top bar. When you click on this icon, it will open a pop-up for editing your background remove options. Here you can fine tune your photo or directly hit the done button if you are happy with the auto generated result. Now you have your photo without any background inside your canvas.